Welcome all. Today we are going to discuss about the program control operations in Alan Bradley. So I am going to use a program control jump instruction and a label right here. Jump and label and I have to add one more rung right here. How to go to users and insert a new rung. In between the jump and label I have to use one contact right here for enabling the jump. And here also I have to use one more contact and here also I have to use one more contact then a label a coil and here also another coil that will be the output how to put on the rightmost side so this will be the first input I'm going to give the input for enabling the jump instruction so put the jump right here and the second input and the third one right here and the label should be at the leftmost side of the ladder logic and have to name the jump as I'm going to give any name say so like have to go to the help of the jump and give press F1 and you can see Q2 colon 60 that will be the example the Q2 colon 0 or Q2 colon 1 will be the appropriate name for the jump so I'm naming as Q2 colon zero so and hit ok then I have to give the same address for the label also here also q2 colon zero so then that's it and I have to give the address for the output also so closing this and taking the output address o colon zero dot zero and using two outputs q o colon zero dot zero bar zero and zero bar one in the second output so can see the jump instruction on the runtime jump we are actually using the jump for just for jumping or skipping the intermediate runs that's why we are using the jump instruction okay uh, so I want to skip the jump instruction or the skip the output O colon 0 dot 0 this output I want to skip if my jump is on okay I want to skip that output that's why I'm using the jump so in the normal condition I am going to enable the outputs so toggle and the output is on second one again toggle and the output is again on so I'm going to toggle it back and put it on put sorry put it off and going to toggle this also and I'm trying to enable the jump first right here and toggle the jump first now the jump is enabled and I'm going to try to turn on the intermediate output so again toggle you can see the output has been skip there will be no output if the jump is on and I am trying the second input so see there will be no change because after the label there has been no effect for the jump in between the label and the jump which will be only one output if you are using lot of outputs that can be skipped by using the jump instruction that is the use of jump and I am going to exit from here and using the sub program so I'm going to use the sub program right here so I'm deleting all this stuff so we we'll go to user and put on input and the sub program so going to the program control right here shift file sequencer here is the program control inside the program control I'm going to use the jump to sub protein subroutine means a sub program I'm going to create that sub program can be only enabled with this subroutine number the subroutine number you can see the sub program is there is ladder 2 is we are situating at right here ladder 2 if you want to add up one more sub program have to right click and a new window so that will be ladder 2 have to create one more this is program files right click and new and number will be 3 so now I got the ladder 3 so I want to jump to the ladder 3 or the I want to enable the ladder 3 sub program so I am going to give the the address as u colon 3 u colon 3 means have to jump to the third subroutine or sub program this is the third ladder 3 and I am going to the LAD 3 LED 3 you can see both of the files right here if you are watching in both multiple windows you can take you can choose multiple windows ladder 2 and 3 also okay this will be my ladder 2 
and that will be enabling the program in ladder 3 now i am at the ladder 3 and i have to use one thing that will be label label to the sub program or return or the subroutine label here we got the subroutine label right here after this i have to use my output and subroutine return also have to use that is a syntax subroutine return also i have to use there will be no contacts i'm using and i'm placing one output right here from here have to place one output on the sub program this is my sub program they will be activating this output so output will be o colon 0 dot 0 bar 0 and you can see the sub program this is my sub program and i'm going back to the main program ladder 2 here is my ladder 2 main program i am feeding the input with i colon 0 dot 0 that will be enabling the sub program and i'm going to run this so i'm going to download this again and run now we are on the run time and you can go to the lab 3 that will be my sub program you can see there is no output has been enabled the output will be only enabled with respect to the ladder 2 i'm going to the ladder 2 and enabling the sub program here i'm going to enable the sub program u colon 3 and toggle and going back to the ladder 3 now we are at the ladder 2 main program going to the ladder 3 going to here you can see now the output has been enabled that is the sub program so going back to the ladder 2 again so i'm disabling this you can see in the ladder 3 it is still providing okay so i have to toggle it off manually so that's it if you want to watch it on the output section you can watch it right here also the output zero will be only enabled when the sub program has been enabled see now it has been turns one and i'm going offline again and i'm going to call you the master controller in this sub program we have discussed about the trouble one trouble that will be uh, there is no effect uh, when the sub program input is turned on there is no effect so i'm going to put the master control master control means have to control the whole system using a master control okay so insert another master control and another put a contact and coil also mc and mcr have to use right here go to the users and add up one more rung in between here and a contact and a coil contact and coil and they have to input feed the input right here i colon 0 dot 0 i colon 0 dot 1 and they have to go to the output section name the output o colon 0 dot 0 so this is my uh, master control program and can go to the runtime so this master control we can use it as a what i have to say i have to use it as a uh, auto manual switching mode okay this program in between the mcr that will be my automatic program after the mcr i am using the manual program if you want to enable the automatic program have to enable the master control switch so in the normal condition i am going to enable this toggle and there will be no output because the master control switch is not enabled so i have to enable this go to toggle this one see by toggling the output has been turned on that is the program control instructions in the Alan Bradley and hope you enjoyed thank you